So we've installed 15 Trojan charging points by the curbside, but how are they powered? So each of the 15 charge points has an individual connection back to the Trojan cabinet or the feeder pillar. The feeder pillar has a 68 kilowatt connection from the local distribution network. For the technically minded, that's 100 amps per phase at three phases. Our cloud arbitrage charging management system then allocates the 68 kilowatts across the 15, 22 kilowatt capable charge points to make sure everyone gets the power that they need. Why 68 kilowatts? Well, for two reasons. A 68 kilowatt connection, that three phase 100 amp connection, is a pretty vanilla connection in terms of the local distribution network, which means they're available almost anywhere and they don't place a great deal of strain on the local network. If we were to install a 330 kilowatt connection, so every point was permanently connected uh, at 22 kilowatts, that would be much more expensive as well as much more impactful on the local network. And we want to leave some room for some other people uh, to take power from that local network. The second reason is that the, the, the vanilla nature of the connection means that it's really cheap and the connection cost per charge point is really low and enables us to really, really uh, undercut the cost of traditional single kind of one connection per post systems. While we're walking along, did you notice the fact that I've just walked past 15 charge points? 